Have you ever felt lonely, even in a room full of people? Or found yourself wondering why, no matter how connected we seem, there's still this emptiness inside? Loneliness is more than just being alone. It's a silent struggle that can affect anyone, at any time. But what if I told you that understanding the hidden reasons behind this feeling could be the key to breaking free? In this video, we shall learn about the 10 reasons most people feel lonely today that might surprise you and by the end, you will not only understand why, but you'll also have the tools to start overcoming it. If you are ready to find out, let's get started. Number one, you may be spending time with the wrong people. It's easy to think that loneliness only strikes when we're physically alone, but the truth is, it can be even more overwhelming when you're surrounded by the wrong people. Have you ever been in a room full of people, yet felt completely disconnected? That's the kind of loneliness that arises when your relationships lack genuine connection. Whether it's friends who don't truly care about your well-being, or a partner who doesn't understand or support you, these relationships can drain your energy rather than replenish it. You might stay in these situations because you fear being alone or don't want to confront the possibility that some relationships aren't as meaningful as you'd hoped. However, clinging to unhealthy relationships often makes the feeling of isolation even worse. Take time to reflect on the people you spend your time with. Do they make you feel supported, understood, and valued? If not, it might be time to reassess whether they should be in your life. Sometimes, being alone and working on yourself is far more fulfilling than being with people who diminish your sense of self. Number two, you're struggling to feel worthy. A deep sense of loneliness often comes from feelings of unworthiness. Have you experienced rejection, heartbreak, or a significant loss recently? When someone we love walks away, it can feel like a reflection of our own value, as if their absence means we are less worthy of love or connection. This is especially true after a romantic relationship ends or a friendship falls apart. You may feel like the rejection defines you. In reality, the end of a relationship doesn't diminish your worth. It's important to remember that everyone experiences rejection at some point, and it doesn't mean you are unworthy of love or connection. Often, the journey to overcoming loneliness involves rebuilding your sense of self-worth from the inside out. Take small steps to focus on self-care, personal growth, and positive affirmations. Surround yourself with supportive people who uplift you rather than bring you down. Rebuilding your self-esteem will help you reconnect with others from a place of confidence and security, rather than fear and doubt. Number three, you're afraid of intimacy. Many people crave connection but find it incredibly hard to let others in. Loneliness can stem from this fear of intimacy, whether it's emotional, physical, or even intellectual closeness. You may have a deep desire for love, companionship, and understanding, but something holds you back. Maybe it's past experiences of betrayal, heartbreak, or loss that have made you put up emotional walls. These walls might protect you from potential hurt, but they also prevent genuine relationships from forming. If you're always keeping people at arm's length, afraid to show your true self, then meaningful connections won't be possible. Overcoming this requires a willingness to be vulnerable. Vulnerability doesn't mean exposing yourself recklessly. It means allowing trusted people to see the real you, imperfections and all. It's about taking small steps toward trust, allowing people in gradually, and learning that while vulnerability is risky, it is also the key to forming deep, lasting bonds. Number four, you're going through a period of change. Change is one of the most significant contributors to feelings of loneliness. Whether it's moving to a new city, starting a new job, ending a relationship, or even graduating from school, transitions can leave us feeling unmoored. When life takes an unexpected turn, it's easy to feel disconnected from the people and environments that once felt familiar and comforting. Change, especially when it's sudden or unplanned, can disrupt your sense of identity and belonging. You might find yourself missing old friends, places, or routines, and that sense of nostalgia can deepen your loneliness. It's important to recognize that these feelings are normal, but temporary. As you adjust to your new circumstances, make an effort to create new connections and establish routines that ground you. Reach out to others, even if it feels uncomfortable at first. Change can be isolating, but it can also open the door to new opportunities for growth, relationships, and self-discovery. Number five, you don't know how to connect with others. Loneliness often doesn't come from being alone, but from feeling disconnected from those around you. You might have plenty of acquaintances, coworkers, or casual friends, but these relationships can feel superficial. Maybe you're good at making small talk, discussing the weather or the latest news, but struggle when it comes to building deeper, more meaningful connections. 
If your interactions with others are limited to surface-level conversations, you may end up feeling emotionally unfulfilled. The key to overcoming this kind of loneliness is learning how to build stronger, more authentic connections. This involves being open and vulnerable, sharing your thoughts, feelings, and experiences with others. It's about finding common ground and being genuinely interested in the lives of those around you. You don't have to be an extrovert to form meaningful relationships, but you do need to be willing to put yourself out there and engage with others on a deeper level. Start by reaching out to those you already know and take the conversation beyond the surface. Show interest in their lives, ask thoughtful questions, and be open to sharing more of yourself. Number six, you're feeling misunderstood. One of the most isolating feelings is the sense that no one really understands you. You might have people around you, but if they don't truly get you, it can make you feel incredibly lonely. Feeling misunderstood is especially common for those who don't fit neatly into social norms or have unique perspectives, interests, or experiences. It can be hard to find people who share your worldview, values, or passions, and that disconnect can make you feel like an outsider. If you often feel misunderstood, it's essential to seek out communities where you feel seen and valued. This might mean finding new friends, joining groups with like-minded individuals, or seeking out spaces where your voice and perspective are appreciated. It's also important to communicate your feelings to those around you. Sometimes people don't understand us simply because we haven't taken the time to express who we are and what we need. Open up about your experiences and be patient with those who may not immediately understand. Building bridges to others takes time, but it's worth the effort. Number seven, you may have lost touch with yourself. Loneliness isn't just about feeling disconnected from others. It's also about feeling disconnected from yourself. When you lose sight of your own values, passions, and desires, it can create a profound sense of emptiness. You might be so focused on pleasing others or fulfilling societal expectations that you've forgotten what truly makes you happy. Without a clear sense of who you are, it's easy to feel adrift and isolated, even when surrounded by people. Reconnecting with yourself is a crucial step in overcoming loneliness. This process involves spending time alone, reflecting on your values, and rediscovering your passions. What makes you feel alive? What do you enjoy doing when no one else is watching? Take time for introspection and self-discovery. Journaling, meditation, or simply going for a walk can help you clear your mind and reconnect with your true self. Once you're more in tune with who you are, it becomes easier to form relationships that reflect your authentic self, rather than ones based on external expectations. Number eight, you struggle with codependency. Codependency can lead to a unique form of loneliness, even in the midst of a close relationship. When you rely too heavily on another person for your happiness and sense of identity, you lose touch with your own needs, desires, and self-worth. Codependent relationships are built on imbalance. You give and give, often at the expense of your own well-being, and receive little in return. Over time, this dynamic can leave you feeling emotionally drained and isolated. The first step to breaking free from codependency is recognizing the pattern. Are you constantly prioritizing someone else's needs over your own? Do you fear conflict or abandonment if you set boundaries? Learning to set healthy boundaries and focus on your own well-being is essential to reclaiming your sense of self. Remember, you are worthy of love and care, not just for what you can give, but for who you are. Building a healthier relationship with yourself will allow you to form healthier, more balanced relationships with others. Number nine, you may be dealing with depression. Sometimes, no matter how many people are in your life, the feeling of loneliness doesn't go away. This can be a sign of something deeper like depression. Chronic loneliness is one of the most common symptoms of depression, and it can make even the most meaningful relationships feel distant. Depression can make it hard to feel connected to others, leaving you withdrawn, tired, and unable to find joy in activities that once made you happy. If you suspect that depression might be contributing to your loneliness, it's important to seek help. Depression is a mental health condition that requires treatment, whether through therapy, medication, or lifestyle changes. You don't have to go through it alone. Reach out to a trusted friend, family member, or mental health professional. The road to healing might be long, but with the right support, you can find your way back to connection, joy, and hope. Number 10, you just fear vulnerability. Loneliness isn't always about the absence of people. It's often about the absence of meaningful connection. Sometimes, this lack of connection comes from a fear of vulnerability. Being vulnerable means exposing your true self to others, and that can be terrifying. You might worry that if people see the real you, they'll reject or judge you. As a result, you keep your walls up, only showing a polished, guarded version of yourself. 
However, vulnerability is the foundation of deep and authentic relationships. Without it, your connections remain shallow and unfulfilling. Start small by sharing your thoughts and feelings with trusted people in your life. It's okay to take baby steps. Vulnerability doesn't mean pouring your heart out to everyone you meet. It's about being honest, letting your guard down, and allowing others to truly see you. The more you practice vulnerability, the more you'll realize that it's not as scary as it seems, and the connections you build will be far more meaningful. Loneliness is a complex and sophisticated experience, but understanding its root causes can help you take steps toward healing. However, don't hesitate to seek help if you need it, and remember that loneliness, while painful, is also an opportunity for growth. With time, patience, and effort, you can reconnect with yourself and others, and finally find the sense of belonging and fulfillment you deserve. Do any of the above reasons seem familiar to you? Share with us down in the comments. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe because there's more incredible content on the way. Stay blessed.